Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the Technomancer Part 4. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to retrieve the rover that was left back at the crash site just because we want to keep this merchant city uh, like completely secretive away from any other like Ophir or Abundance or any of those kind of places. So, we'll go back with this guy, this mutant. Hey there. What do you want, human? I took the rover all the way down into the canyon. Unfortunately, that's where I hit a wild ostrich, and now the thing won't drive. Heard you might be able to help get it back here. And why exactly would we want to help you? We who are just monsters to you and your kind, even here. One of us was just lynched. And what did your kind do about it? Nothing. And when we are sick, what one of you would help us even in fair exchange for serum? Why then, answer me, would we help you now? I understand why you're angry, but none of that has anything to do with me. Do you think people are any nicer to Technomancers? If so, you're wrong. If they weren't so busy being scared of us, I'm sure they'd hang us too. Hmm, yes. Brothers in pain. Outcasts should stick together. We will get your machine, but it will take some time. It will not be easy on our ostriches. And we can only do it at night. Give us... 12 hours. That works for me. Thanks. Alright, so we just have to wait for the rover to return. 11 hours and 59 minutes. What I might actually do is go back up to the palace and uh, fast forward that time because if I actually go ahead and start some of the other missions, then it might cause some shit to go down that I don't want to happen already. Like, they, they could easily figure out where the city is if I go ahead with the other missions. I, would, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching this uh, like Let's Play so far, and thank you so much for the support. It's been pretty cool. I I, I really like this game, and depending on the uh, just the, the support forthgoing, then I will just hammer the <laughs> a large amount of it up as as quick as possible. All right, so I'll go up here into uh, my quarters. I think it's just here on the right hand side. I haven't played this in a few days now. Bit rusty at it. All right, we'll go to sleep. We'll wait. Yeah evening that should allow the mutants to actually bring back the rover all right so we're gonna go and inform Dandolo the merchant prince that the rover was taken back so that should save any of those other guys from actually figuring out where the city is now Zachariah what can I do for you I moved the rover for you if Ophir finds the road in it won't be because of me yes I already heard sorry if the request seemed paranoid better safe than sorry no, okay, that's that's completely fine. Talk about the damage rover with Amelia. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. I'm not too sure where she is. We'll check on the map. Okay, she's a little bit down, kind of similar to where I was talking with the mutant. So go and uh, see what the crack is about the rover, because we will need it for future trips and stuff like that. I wonder if we can actually leave the city at any point. I know we probably could, but we'd be susceptible to a lot of like uh, monster attacks and stuff like that. All right, here's Amelia. So, just when I thought shit couldn't be worse, her engine's been blown like a John in a whorehouse. Gonna need some spare parts now: a stator, a thermic regulator, a rotor. With only a few rovers out there, it's not like you can just grab those parts from the nearest merchant. There is one in Ophir, though. He used to have a machine for me from scratch. And I heard there may be someone else here in Noctis who sells them too. However, when it comes to prices, since we don't have abundance of support, it's not the same anymore. Uh, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, honey. I wouldn't mind seeing you go broke, but there are other options. Let me think. In my shed, I had a replacement stator ready to go. I imagine that the area is closely monitored, but if you manage to sneak in, maybe you could recover it. I also had a delivery waiting. The quartermaster, Ryan Stewart. I imagine he must still have a rotor in his inventory, since I'm not there anymore. It won't be easy to get it back, but that's your problem. I go back with Ryan, know his inventory well. Though with all those soldiers in the barracks, it'll be a tough nut to crack. The final option's a robber I heard of who parts everything he fucking finds. Not a guy I'd want to grab a drink with, but I heard he's got spare rover parts. May have one of the ones we need. 
And I've heard that he wasn't interested in serum. Maybe you'll have to take chances, who knows. Anyway, it could be a lead. One last thing. I found the tools I'll need. However, I was in such a rush that I forgot to take my serum. I don't have a single drop of it left. And since around here, they don't give away freebies. I don't have enough for now. I'll have to find some work if I want to buy this for you. Well, that'll keep you busy. And don't forget my spare parts, huh? I'll take care of it. The shed, Ryan's inventory, the looter, or if I want to go broke, the merchants. See? I remember everything. Alright, so I'm gonna have to find the parts needed to repair the fucking rover. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. So find a rotor, find a stator. Oh, uh, great stuff. Okay, so I don't know if I'll follow up this mission just yet. I might actually do that uh, on the side or something. Alright, so I think I found the thief guy. Uh, he should be able to help us out without having to fucking pay so much serum. It's crazy how much they're asking just to fucking buy some bits. I know it's supposed to be realistic and stuff, but I do not have the time to be <laughs> wandering around Mars just collecting this shit. What the hell is he doing? Alright, let's go talk to him. I was told you might have spare parts for a rover. I'm looking for a thermic regulator. Oh, yes. Yes, I got one of those. Hard to find, very hard, very rare. Hard to come by. What would you give me in return? What do you want for it? Hmm. Well, I see two possible trades. I'd love to get my hands on some of that focus drug. I know it's not meant for us, but it gives me a nice buzz. Otherwise, you're a technomancer, aren't you? Yeah. Hmm. Good. Good. Well, I like to poke around old places, and just the other day I found a technomancer glove, but I can't seem to make it work. Like most all the technomancer stuff I find. Well, I can repair most things, but this, I don't understand how it works, or even what I'm supposed to do. But I'm sure you do. The repair it. In front of me. You fix, I watch. You teach, I learn. So in the future, I can do the fixing myself. Got it? You do this. I'll not only give you your thermic regulator, but let you walk away with the glove, too. You know what? I, I don't mind. <laughs> you, can, you can do it. I, I want right. the glove. I'll show you. Watch close. There you go. Not exactly like new, but it works. That's... Fantastic. You know how much Technomancer gear I have in inventory that I can fix now? Oh, you're a good man. Here, keep the glove and take your rover part. I don't need it anyway. Take care. See you around. Do me a favor and never, ever stay in the darkness like that while I'm in a cutscene ever again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's go and check out what this glove looks like. Some new bit of kit. We can't wear it yet, we need three power. Okay, that's that's completely fine. We have some new stuff here. We've got the thermic regulator. That's not all we need. There's two other parts plus the tools, so I'm gonna go do a bit of thieving. And I'll be back with you soon. Alright, so this man I think has the rotor. Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? What are you looking for? I'm looking for spare parts for a rover. A stator, a rotor, and I have a rotor, if you want. The rest. Those are rare, rare pieces you're after, you know. Okay, I'm gonna pay Here. for it. For that price, though, it better be in working order. It's brand new, from what I know. Came from a mechanic who took it from one of those big uh, wind turbines. Take it. It's yours. Thanks. You've lost 200 serum. That's ridiculous. Okay, so I've pretty much got... Two of the parts. I still need the third. I think it is just for Amelia to go and buy. So, uh... I'm broke. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can I convert any of this stuff to... Yeah, I can recycle this stuff, but I don't think I can actually get any money from it. Yeah, it only gives me leather and metal components. So I'm gonna go and see if I can actually sell it before I do any more. Okay, I just sold a shit ton of gear there. 
So I'm fucking rolling in it now. That's hilarious. I, I didn't actually know that you could sell the kind of crafting materials and stuff that you had. So I, I had so much random like metal de debris and shit like that. So I can easily give Amelia the money and actually How buy the you? abundance uniforms. Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. Enough of the chit chat. Okay. I'll give you the money. Here. Managed to round up enough serum for you to buy your tools. Perfect. Now we just gotta hope the merchant put him aside for me like he said he would. Not that I don't trust him. What's good, Zechariah? Got my parts yet? Keep your pants on. Still working on it. I... I have the parts still. Alright, so Amelia actually needed one more part. It was, it was the stator. I completely forgot about it. Uh, the tools were just what she needed just to fucking be able to repair the ship uh, or the rover but what we'll need to do is go back to Aurora no is it Aurora? I fucking forget the Ophir yeah go back to Ophir find the stator there and we'll also free my Technomancer brothers from the chapel because I know they're actually locked up in there too so what we'll need is actually some disguises I said we'll need disguises and finally I have enough money to buy some so Brez merchandise um armor where is it there we go full abundance uniforms that's the one we need I'm pretty sure I'll buy one in case and I'll equip it just in case it's the wrong one because I'll be so pissed off if it is okay so I have the uh, full abundance uniforms on both all of us uh, but for some reason it's not actually you know registering the fact that I have them on uh, but I don't know, maybe we need helmets and stuff like that, but what we're gonna do is actually go and travel to Ophir. I didn't even know this was possible, so it's a good thing I actually <laughs> checked first because we would have been wandering across the, the wastelands, probably just to figure out that there's no way to travel to Ophir apart from doing it this way. Anyway, so I'll see you in a couple of minutes. The Elad coming back here makes me feel like I need to wake up, finally wake up. Feels like I've been sleeping for so long, trapped in a bad place. Hey there, you from Noctis. Don't seem like a merchant. Yes and no. Here on a private matter. You by any chance know the Underworks? Well enough. Even here, there's rules that forbid us to go to certain parts of the city, but in these tunnels, they become little more than technicalities. I'm looking to get to the Technomancer's Chapel. There's an entrance in the crypt, but I don't know how to get there. Well, I can show you the tunnels under the source. Once upon a time, I used to smuggle merchandise through there. Remember hearing about some magical gate down there, too? I take it it's the kind of gate only your kind can open? <laughs> yeah, I've run into a few of those along my travels. I'll show you on a map. Be careful, Mr. Technomancer. The tunnels have always been guarded. Now it's probably even worse. Word is that the ASC's forced its way into the chapel's main entrance. I'm gonna need another Technomancer to help me open this gate, or find another way in. I'm sure it won't be easy, but thanks for the help. It's gonna do a lot of good. Good luck. Good luck. Alright, so we're here in Ophir, and it's gonna take a while, I'd say, to get to the chapel. We could go to the Freight Zone. Oh, this is all called the Freight Zone. Okay, so any one of those exits will bring us up to the surface, so we'll make our way just to the closest one. I have no idea which one is closest, <laughs> but whatever one we can find the quickest. Didn't even know about the tunnels under here. I suppose it kind of makes sense to have them. Okay, is this like an elevator shaft or something? Oh, okay, there we go. Enter the exchange, enter... Oh, the exchange, that's the one we're going for. Fuck it, we'll go straight up to the surface. Attack them head on. I'm gonna die a lot. Oh shit, straight into the action. Get wrecked! Oh yeah! <laughs> Good stuff. I have to remember to loot, like, everyone. And at the moment, I actually feel like I don't care about, you know, killing anymore just because of the sheer fact that you can get so much money from it. Uh, okay, now we have to make our way. This is it. This Oh, that's the archi archives. Shit. Okay, the rotor is there. 
And that is the chapel, okay. We'll have to go get the rotor first. So we've basically just broken into the city when we were fleeing beforehand. I'm just gonna run for a good portion of it. Just so I don't have to fucking put up with too many fights. Let's see if we can actually get by. As long as they don't shoot, we're fine. I'm going there now, actually, friend. I hope I'm going the right fucking way. I think it's in here. Check the map. Uh, you guys are freaking me out. <laughs> Just standing behind me like... We need to shoot something. Okay, uh, that's where we're going. That's, yeah. So down here, keep kind of in the in the middle. Try and sneak by a few of these guys. Don't know if it's going to work. How did that guard not see me? Did you hear? The technomats are off No. I'm trapped. <laughs> no, just run. <laughs> oh, God. I know I could probably rack up a lot of XP and stuff from doing it, but I really... It's, I could not be bothered because it just takes too long. You, sir. You're a brave man to come back here, Mr. Manser. You're also a wanted man. Not that I'd turn you. <laughs> Wouldn't be good for business. What do you need? Your head on a pike. Okay, where where's the goods? Okay, ask about the missing rover pieces. I was wondering where the fuck it was. Okay. I'm looking for something pretty specific. A spare part for a rover. Oh, really? Yeah, well. You know the risks of selling that kind of thing? Risky business doesn't come cheap. For that price, the part better work like new. Of course. I only sell the best. Got great suppliers. Keep it wrapped, though, if you're traveling far. It's pretty fragile. Will do. Okay, cool. We've got that. That was actually kind of easy. Now we can give the parts to Amelia, but first of all, we have to get the Technomancers and kind of bring them back to Noctis, which should be the easiest thing in the whole world. Uh, we have to back out here, keep left. Okay, Jesus, this is going to... Take a while to get there, I'd say, so I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Alright, so I think I found a way inside. All I had to do was go through the underworks again and just simply just choose another door. I'm pretty sure I could have went in in another area, but I just completely ignored the fact that you had to be outside of combat to open doors. Um, silly me, huh? Okay, but it's, it's cool. We're literally, we've infiltrated the, the barracks of the exchange, so we should be pretty close to the chapel. I just need another Technomancer though. This is it here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh fuck, here they come. Oh, here they come. heal please let me dodge get fuck I wonder if Sean Manser is actually gonna come back now after all this Maybe he figured out there's something wrong. Okay, this last guy. Yeah, bitch. All right, let me see what loot you have. You're bound to have something good. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, we can climb this. I was gonna say there's no way in. But they have. They've opened this door. Shit. No, that, that should have fucking electrocuted him. That's bullshit. This guy is impervious to electrical damage. Oh no, 
on, get up. I'm getting fucked here. Okay, it's three against one now. <laughs> Just dodging like fuck. <laughs> you think you had me, son? Oh, there we go. Okay, these guys should be up now. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, I just need to loot really quickly. <laughs> it's a habit. Okay, we got another health injection, but it's cool because our health actually regens over time while we're outside combat. If that wasn't a thing, I'd be so pissed. It'd be impossible because you'd just spend all your money on um, fucking health injections. What's all this crack? Anything we can loot? No. Okay. They're all stuck inside here. I'm here to free you, you and all the others. We must go though, now. Ah, Zachariah, my faith in you was not misplaced. I. Yeah, come on, we're going to take you down! Yeah. They're coming, Zachariah. Go! There's a dome hidden in the desert, one spoken of in the tablet you brought me. Find it! You won't get away! They're here! Lead our kind through the crypt. Save them! Come on, guys! I won't leave you. There is no time to debate! Go! For God's sake! How? Great Master! No! Go now, Zachariah! Save our kind! Get out of the way! Go! He's overloading himself! Zachariah? Is anyone missing? Victor's men came like a storm with that piece of shit Alan beside them. If we were gonna escape, they had to be stopped. At any cost. And so your great master sacrificed himself so you could... A heroically sad story, Zachariah. As sorry as I am, though, we need to leave. And take the others. Alright, let's go, everybody. Yeah, that piece of shit that we've seen at the very beginning of the game... He, he's the, the prick who actually double-crossed us and must have told the secrets about the Technomancer. Oh, look at this guy. You think you're hot shit, don't you? You have like 14 people here, you're fucked. My staff's gonna fuck you. <laughs> oh! More of come to party here. Okay, we got one down. Seriously, how, how are you not damaging him from behind here? Poor old Scott defending himself here. Oh my! How many of them are you? Are, are here? Uh, <laughs> shit! No. Okay, that's one down. Shit! Oh no, my damage. My fucking health. My health. My, <laughs> my damage. Is that it? Is everyone dead? No, there's one guy right here. How do you- how does no one see him? Someone attack him! Yeah, bitch. Get down. Alright, I'm gonna search you, actually. Nothing. Just serum. I hate you all. Okay, did anyone die there? I don't think they did. We're, we're all good. There's a load of Technomancers down at whatever fucking war is going on right now. But that's where Sean is. And we need him back. He's like one of the other great masters. So 
I wonder can I actually use any of these Technomancers as my companions because that would be so cool. Be so handy. Okay, I, th I literally thought you were a guard there. I'm gonna loot this box and I'll change. Beyond my skill level. I guess I'm not doing that. I'm gonna change my outfit. So I can have something that's a little bit stronger. I think that'll do for now. Alright, let's go. Delve deeper into the underworks. I just seen... Was that like a hippo fucking charging there? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> that was one of the coolest kicks I've ever seen in the game. More spin attack. Okay, that big guy's dealing damage. Jesus. Let's go. <laughs> this fucking place, huh? Alright. Take this elevator straight to the sand sails. From there, the merchants will take you to Noctis. Are you? The legendary city of the merchants? For real? Amazing! That. But what about the other Technomancers who escaped the ASC too? Are they going to be able to... Talk to the merchant running the sand sails. I'm sure he'll be able to help them too. And they can join us in Noctis with other caravans. Zachariah. You'd be fucked. That's what. Alright, so all those guys are gone. Report back to Dondolo and search of the Lost Dome. That's another mission that we have here, I think. Um, so we got the brothers in danger. We've, we've done that. We'll give the parts to Amelia. This, I don't get it. It's just, it's not clicking, whatever I do. I, even if I put on the outfit, it's still saying that we're not wearing them. Okay, wait for it to be repaired. Speak with Melvin Manser, the leader of the escaped Technomancers. Okay, we'll do that all back at Noctis. Let's see what the crack is. Alright, can I just leave here? Oh, there we go. Um, Go to the import zone, I think. <laughs> I hope it's the right place. Zachariah, the great hero of his brothers, has returned triumphant. Amazing. Against all odds. Against a city. Bravo. But, uh, I don't see anyone resembling the great master. Is he... dead? He sacrificed himself so we could get out. Oh, so sad. Truly. Well, please tell your colleagues, your brothers. They are welcomed here. Let them rest and regain their strength. I can only imagine what the ASC put them through. And without their great master, they must feel lost on top of it all. Feel the void for a leader among them. No? What are you getting at? Just uh, simply that, as their hero, it might be in their best interest for you to fill that void. I don't purport to understand how these things work among your kind. Through a vote or drinking game, but you've earned it. They need you to pull them back together after what they've been through. And to have a unified group of Technomancers among us to serve would be valuable beyond imagination. Think about it. I'll think about it. But now's not the time. We need to mourn the Fallen. Okay, a new Great Master. Speak with Melvin Mancer, the leader of the Escape Technomancers. So basically, I'm the new leader. I run this shit. Okay. I'm gonna talk to Amelia, give her the parts too. Hi Zach, how are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm fine, thanks. What's good, Zachariah? Got my parts yet? As promised, rotor, stator, and thermic regulator. Damn. Nice work. Keep up like that and you might start growing on me again. We're gonna get my baby back on the road. Great. Now that I've got everything, I can actually start on the repairs. But it's gonna take a day, at least. And once I start, I'm gonna be neck deep in it, so if you need me for anything else, I ain't gonna be available. Works for me. 
Sure you'll be able to get it working again, soon enough. Damn straight. Even if you lost your legs, I could get you going again. Now get out and let me work. <laughs> okay. That's completely fine. I, I really don't need you. <laughs> Alright, uh, where else do we need to go? Where's my map? Now we can go back to Dandolo. We'll tell him... I think that's where we're going. And we can go down here as well. Equip your team with abundance officers' uniforms. I need to report that bug with uh, Focus Home Interactive before I can do any more with that. So we'll go back up to Don Dolo and we'll tell him about what has been happening around here. I don't know, can I get up this? Zachariah, no, apparently I've not. Okay, so I'll meet you, you guys up at the palace in a couple of minutes. Zachariah, I am glad to see you. You, what you did, what you risked for us, no one will ever forget. We lost many. For that, we are mourning. But we can at least celebrate that because of you, the Order has not disappeared. We're brothers and sisters. We stand together. Yes, and others have joined us too, you know. The merchants spread the word to those who are still in hiding. But for those non-initiated and those who passed, we are all here. Did the Great Master manage to tell or give you anything before he passed, before his sacrifice? He told me to watch over the Order, gave me a tablet. He'd managed to translate the text of the relic I'd brought back from an excavation in Aurora. And what did it say? It talks about an important research base. The largest the settlers ever built on Mars. One that was in contact with Earth. It had a beacon. Unfortunately, it didn't say where the base was. Only the location of a smaller dome that housed some of the larger base's scientists. Then we must find it. Oh, I can feel it, Zachariah. We are so close to contacting Earth again. Maybe, but I have the feeling we're not the only ones who know about it, though. Thanks to Alan, the ASC might have gotten their hands on the tablet while the Great Master was being held. Alan? How could he betray our order? We have to beat the ASC to that dome. What can I do to help? Everybody settled in? We are, Zachariah, yes. There's something on your mind, isn't there? That obvious? The Great Master asked me to look after everyone. Having the unconditional support of everyone would help me a lot. Don't know how to pull that together, though. We're a family, Zachariah. You'll always have our support. You're looking to become a Great Master, though. That's different. There are some who obviously will question your abilities to hold that position. It's not personal. You did tremendous things for us, Zachariah. You did. But not everyone knows you well enough. You're young, inexperienced, and while your talent speaks for itself, I have a feeling some will want to put those talents to the test before supporting you. My suggestion would be this. Find the most influential masters. I'm sure they'll have questions. Satisfy their expectations, and I believe nothing can stand in your way. And I'll go see them. Okay, cool. That's that's pretty, uh, pretty cool mission to actually go and impress all the other Technomancers, get their approval Greetings, and stuff Zachariah. like that. But what we'll do is ask him one more time about the search for Earth. Dozens of Technomancers have spent years trying to re-establish contact with Earth. What can you tell me about that? Well, first, that search has been stalled for years. At the beginning, of course, we collected anything relating to the settlers. Most of the relics, though, turned out to be just simple tools. The wars and our inability to travel out of our infrastructure had all but squashed the opportunity to explore. This is the first time that we have been freed of our yokes, free to explore again. What limits our work, though, is that few of us can read the settlers' secret writings. A gift, I believe, only the Great Master had. And with the most important knowledge having been written in that language... What we know, though, is that there is, in fact, an intact beacon somewhere. That there are still many undiscovered sites. And now today, with you, we have a hope again to find it. All right, so we'll go and talk to Dandolo. Zachariah, come, come. A moment, please, if you will. Who are you? You wanted to see me? Yes. Yes, I've been expecting you. I saw a young man with, with a missing arm that I knew, no, from somewhere. You know Lucky? If memory serves correct, yes. And you did as well. Started your apprenticeships together, but... In that life, he carried the name Andrew. And like you, he came not from a family of technomancers either. Starting to ring a bell. 
It was an accident too, yes? Indeed. He was simply too powerful to instruct. Filled with an overabundance of fluid we did not know how to control. So he overloaded, destroying part of the school, wounding you, losing his own arm. I always believed he died that day. We acted in haste, out of fear, to hide our incompetence. Having never seen such power before, let alone from a child. So we stole him away, spread rumor he had died, and paid a merchant to care for him. One who gave his word that he could find a teacher able to instruct the child on how to master the fluid. And so Andrew was taught how to control his fluid, but never how to utilize it into technomancy ever again. And you think he still resents you for it? Would not you? Would not we all? Which is why we must help him now become the technomancer he might have been, had we not failed him. But without his arm, how could he use his abilities? Arms are merely slaves of the head. So long as you have a head, you have a hope. And though at times first impressions can be deceiving, it appears you have not lost your head. Hope is not lost. Good prosthesis. A bypass circuit. Scott? A man needs time to think. Youngsters are always so impatient. Did I ever tell you about the time when I was a medical intern? I infiltrated someone's biceps to see if... Uh, forget it. It's not even related to the conversation. Mr. Seeker, whatever you can do to fix our mistake, I would be forever obliged. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Connor. That's pretty cool. So we actually found out that Andrew Lucky is, in fact, a technomancer. Uh, I didn't have a clue. You would never think that. So I'll actually maybe uh, like take him under my wing as well. All right, so I'm going to see if... Dandola has any more Zachariah, dialogue. What can I do for you? You want to attack a convoy to reignite a war? You know how many people die in those wars? How many are mutilated, taken prisoner? Not precisely, but I think I have a clear idea of the numbers, yeah. Every battle has its purpose, Zechariah Manser. Abundance has fought Aurora for years for more power out of idealism that their philosophies are more righteous than Aurora's. We don't just fight the corporations because of their damned ideals. What we do, we do for our survival. For the survival of the misfits of Mars, the rejected, the poor, the outcasts of corporations. We fight for those who find a home with us, those I promised to protect. This mission worries you, and I get that. I do. Which is why I'm not asking you to attack your old brothers in arms but rather just carry out the same attacks you did countless times before, under different command. You want to attack a convoy? Every we don't dismiss Okay, that's just the same thing if I talk about that, but I suppose that just gives us more dialogue about the mission that he asked us to do. Uh, I'll go and check my actual journal here, see what else I have to do. I can wait for the rover to be repaired, and then we can go out and actually see the old dome. Um, back on track. Wait for Amelia Reacher. Okay, that's same thing about the rover. Same thing about the Abundance Officer's uniform. I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to progress the main story or main campaign without being able to equip all these. So, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can get a fix for this or see if I can get past this. But uh, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Make sure to hit that like button and I will see you all next time for part 5 of the Technomancer. Until then, take care and goodbye.